Are open relationships and polyamory suitable for all women? Why do some women lose interest in sex during menopause? Hello to all lovers of psychology and sexuality. Today, we will unveil the sexual curiosities of women. If you are interested in these topics, make sure to subscribe and activate the notification bell to not miss our future videos. Also, leave us comments and share your experiences in the section below. Let's get started. Open relationships and polyamory are not suitable for all women. These relationship structures are personal choices and should be based on communication, consent, and the comfort of all parties involved. During menopause, hormone levels, such as estrogen, can decrease, leading to changes in vaginal lubrication and sexual desire. Hot flashes and other symptoms can affect interest in sex. However, many women can maintain a satisfying sex life with the help of appropriate therapies and treatments. Prostate orgasm. Prostate stimulation can lead to intense orgasms in men, often achieved through anal stimulation, known as the prostate orgasm. Refractory period. Most men experience a refractory period after orgasm, during which they cannot achieve another orgasm or immediate erection. The duration of the refractory period can vary widely among individuals. Relationship between depression and decreased sexual desire. Depression can impact sexual desire, and many individuals struggling with depression may experience a decrease in libido. Treatment and support can help address this issue. Risks and injury prevention. Lack of adequate lubrication, rough penetration, or the use of inappropriate objects can increase the risk of injuries. Taking precautions is essential to avoid problems. Role-playing games are a common way to explore sexual fantasies. Couples can take on roles and scenarios to unleash their creativity and enhance sexual arousal. Sense of adventure. Some women are attracted to men who are willing to explore the world and have exciting experiences. Sex and aging. As people age, their sex life can continue to be satisfying. In fact, many older individuals report a more satisfying sex life compared to their youth. Sex and longevity, regular sexual activity, has been associated with increased longevity in some studies. Intimacy and sex can have health benefits as people age. Sex and mental health, mental health can affect sexual life. People experiencing depression, anxiety, or other disorders may undergo changes in sexual desire. Adequate therapy and support are essential. Sex education varies widely worldwide. Some countries have comprehensive sex education programs in schools, while in others, sex education is limited or non-existent. Sex in nature or outdoor sex can be an exciting experience. However, it's important to remember legality and respect for privacy and the environment. Sex in space, NASA has investigated how life in space would affect human sexuality. One challenge is gravity, as in a microgravity environment, blood flow and sexual response may change. Research in this field may be crucial for future extended space missions. Sexsomnia is a sleep disorder in which a person engages in sexual acts while asleep, unaware of their actions. It can lead to awkward situations and may require medical attention. Sexual education in Nordic countries, Nordic countries, such as Sweden and Denmark, have very open and comprehensive sexual education in schools. This translates to lower rates of teenage pregnancy and sexually transmitted diseases. Sexual therapy for hypoactive sexual desire disorder focuses on addressing the lack of interest in sex by identifying emotional and physical factors that may be contributing. Sexuality and the elderly. Sexuality has no expiration date. Many older people continue to have sexual relationships and enjoy intimacy in their golden years. Sexuality in old age, sexuality does not have an expiration date. Older people can enjoy healthy and satisfying sexual relationships. In fact, research suggests that sexual frequency and satisfaction can increase with age in some individuals. Sleep orgasm. Women may experience orgasms during dreams, known as nocturnal orgasms. This is entirely natural and can occur without any conscious physical stimulation. Speed of sperm during ejaculation. Approximately 100 million sperm are expelled capable of traveling at an astonishing speed of up to 18 kilometers per hour thanks to muscular contractions. This speed is essential for competing in their race towards the egg. 
Submission and domination games, known as BDSM, can be a consensual and safe way to explore intense fantasies and emotions in intimacy. Communication and respect are crucial in these practices. Tantric sex is an ancient practice that focuses on spiritual connection and lasting pleasure. It involves techniques such as breathing, meditation, and body movements. The effect of stress on libido, chronic stress can negatively impact libido. The release of stress hormones can reduce sexual desire. Finding ways to manage stress, such as meditation or exercise, can help improve libido. The importance of consent. Consent is crucial in any sexual activity. Individuals must give voluntary, informed, and affirmative consent before engaging in any sexual act. The myth of the erogenous zone. The human body is full of erogenous zones, touch-sensitive areas that can be highly pleasurable when stimulated. These zones vary among individuals. The science of kissing. Kissing is not only a display of affection, but also involves a complex chemical interaction. Kisses can increase the release of hormones related to bonding and pleasure. Training. Some men practice ejaculation control techniques, such as the start-stop method, to prolong their ability to maintain orgasm. U-spot. In addition to the G-spot and P-spot, some people believe in the existence of the U-spot in women, located on the front wall of the vagina and considered highly sensitive. Use of condoms. Using condoms during anal sex not only helps prevent STIs, but also facilitates cleaning after the activity. Use of specific lubricants. Some people prefer lubricants specifically formulated for anal sex, as they tend to be denser and longer lasting than conventional water-based lubricants. Variability in sexual development. Sexual development does not always follow a linear path. Some people may experience changes in their sexual orientation or gender identity throughout life. It is important to respect and support individuals on their journey of self-discovery. Variable duration. The duration of a female orgasm can vary significantly, ranging from a few seconds to over a minute. Women may also experience multiple orgasms in a single session. Virtual sex. With the advancement of technology, virtual sex has become more common. Couples can maintain intimacy over long distances through video chats and other technological tools. Well-kept hands. Clean and well-kept hands are often considered attractive, as they can be an indication of attention to detail. Benefits of morning sex. Having sex in the morning can have health benefits, such as reducing stress and improving mood. The release of oxytocin and endorphins during sex can provide an energy boost. Bioluminescence. Some marine organisms, like certain jellyfish and deep sea fish, can emit light during reproduction. This phenomenon is known as bioluminescence and is part of their mating strategy. Common practice in partners of all orientations. Anal sex is not limited to heterosexual relationships. It is practiced and enjoyed by people of all sexual orientations. Diversity of genitals. The shape and size of genitals can vary widely among different individuals, reflecting the natural diversity of the human body. The role of dopamine. In sex, dopamine is a neurotransmitter that plays a key role in desire and reward. During sexual activity, the brain releases dopamine, contributing to the sensation of pleasure and reinforcing the desire for sex. Human sexuality is a fascinating and diverse field that never ceases to amaze us. Sexual curiosities unveil the wonderful complexity of the human experience in the intimate realm. As we explore and understand these facts, it is crucial to remember that each individual is unique in their sexual experience. Respecting and communicating with your partner are the keys to a satisfying and healthy sexual life. Sexual education and understanding are essential tools for fully embracing our sexuality.